Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 11. Now this week, following a suggestion from none other than autograph creator, the maestro himself, Mr Douglas Butler, we're going to do a little bit more work with raw data before moving on to group data uh, the following week. So let's have a look here, let's crack open a statistics page, so let's just go up here, there we go, and this time instead of importing some data from Excel or typing it in ourselves, we're actually going to generate um, a couple of data sets and just look at those and then see how we can use those together with our children's brains to start doing some predictions. So let's have a look. Let's hover up over here to enter raw data. Now I've nothing down there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a distribution. Now um, one I could use here, a good one if you just want to quickly generate some data, is a Poisson distribution. Now it's not important that the kids know what's going on with this thing, it's just useful for generating some data. So click on the Poisson distribution, and I'm going to go to Edit Distribution here, and I'm going to select a mean of, say, 30. And then what I'm going to do is say to Autograph, please could you generate me a sample size of 50, uh, that fits that Poisson distribution with a mean of 30. I'm going to click Create Sample, and voila, there is my data set created. If I click OK, that appears down here as it did last week, and I'm just going to create myself a dot plot, again like we looked at last week, and there it is there. And what Douglas suggested, and, and it's a great teaching idea, is instead of now drawing a box plot on top of that data, why not get the students to predict where they think that box plot will go? So we'll click our scribble tool, and now I'm useless at this, so this will be pathetic, but I think, well, the minimum's going to be about there, the maximum's going to be about there, maybe a median, ooh, somewhere there, maybe a lower quartile there, maybe an upper quartile here. Now, obviously, I've pur purposely got this wrong just to uh, just to demonstrate this. It's nothing to do with the fact that I'm not very good at this. There's my little box plot. And now, of course, the beauty of this is Autograph can very, very quickly generate you a box plot as well. So I'm on my raw data. I'll have my box and whisker diagram, please. There it is. Hey, I'll tell you what. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. Uh, let's have a look at generating some other types of data whilst we're here. So again, I might as well just crack open a new 1D statistics page. Going to enter some raw data here. Um, let's have a look at some of the other distributions. Now, a rectangular distribution could be quite useful. Again, every time you select one, you get to edit the parameters. So there you can put a maximum or a minimum. So 1 to 6, that might be scores on a dice or something like that, maybe. So we'll click OK, and can we have 100 scores on a dice, please, this time? And there we go. So that might be useful to do some work with. And if we just see what that looks like, again, <coughs> excuse me, if I click on the dot plot, then it should be no surprise that that's a fairly uniform uh, distribution there. And let's just look at one more, maybe. Uh, it's new statistics page. Let's enter a little bit of raw data here. Select distribution. And um, we've got our classic normal distribution here. So if I click OK, and again, if I edit the distribution, I can put my mean in. Let's say, let's go for a mean of 10. And let's go for a standard deviation of, I don't know, two something like that let's have a look um, sample size of 100 create a sample there we get some nasty looking numbers but let's use our dot plot to have a look what they look like okay and we get something like that now it's quite a good idea to get the students experimenting with some of those distributions and creating their own samples and plotting dot plots and seeing if they can pick out the key features of them and that'll set them up nicely for when they meet those in GCSE or A level statistics so that's a bit more work with raw data, and unless Douglas has some more suggestions, we will crack on with groups data next week. Um, any requests, keep them coming in. We've had a request from Canada for a bit of work on circle theorems, which will be coming soon, and also we've got a bit of work on vectors as well. Thanks for listening, and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.